Hey everybody, so I'll start off by saying that this serves as an important reminder on why you need to familiarize yourself with current and credible scholarship. Because the idea that Joseph had some close connection with Dartmouth College has become a common claim among critics. And it's very problematic. Again, I'm not here for apologetics. I'm not here to defend the claims of the Book of Mormon. I am offering some much needed pushback on the dominant critical narrative. And I'm asking honest questions. And this argument is very weak. Although I do applaud these efforts because it at least recognized the intellect that's found within the text. So going in chronological order, the first and only real connection the Smith family has to Dartmouth College is through a man named John Smith. And no, it's not that John Smith. Which, can we talk about the glow up that Disney gave this guy? Anyways, this John Smith is Joseph Smith's second cousin thrice removed. Whereas my second cousin three times removed is Elvis Presley. So... Not that impressive, Joseph. Anyways, this John Smith received his bachelor's in theology and a doctorate in divinity at Brown University. He also taught as a professor of ancient languages at Dartmouth College. For those unfamiliar with the structure of family trees, a second cousin thrice removed really means John was the great-grandson of Joseph's great-great-great-grandfather through an entirely different line. Unfortunately, John Smith died in 1809 when Joseph was only three years old. And as much as critics would like to speculate, there is no real evidence or records of any involvement between John Smith and the Smith family. So that settles that. The second family that this comment is referring to is Hiram Smith, Joseph's older brother. Now it's not uncommon to see people online make this bold claim that Hiram attended Dartmouth College, where he was exposed to advanced theological classes and ancient studies. And then Hiram returned to the Smith family farm and mentored Joseph all that he learned. If you've heard this story, you're dealing with someone that has not done their homework and has not checked their sources. No, Hiram did not attend Dartmouth College. In reality, Hiram attended a grammar school for children when he was 11 years old. This school was known as Moore's Charity School. Elazar Wheelock started Moore's Charity School to teach Native American children. Wheelock then later founded Dartmouth College. But aside from having a common founder, Moore's Charity School and Dartmouth College share very little in common. So this argument is admittedly very weak. So this is a reminder to everyone to please read current published scholarship. And to be clear, the Smith family wasn't made up of a bunch of dum-dums. His parents were at least educated that they could teach local grade school. But even this isn't enough to qualify Joseph for the authorial profile of the Book of Mormon. It just doesn't fit. And there's just no data to support that. So I recommend that if we're interested in the truth, that we keep looking.